Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am so excited to be testing out some new Flower Beauty makeup. Now Flower Beauty has been available at Chemist Warehouse here in Australia for a while now, but they finally released a whole bunch of new goodies and I am just ah, so excited to play with them, especially the new shades in the blush bombs. I feel like I've been waiting for these. Forever. I did do a video like this when Flower Beauty first hit Australia. I'm pretty sure I've still got a pixie cut in that video. I'll link it down below if you want to go and watch it. Otherwise, let's just get straight into this. All right, so starting off with the Get Real Serum Foundation. This comes with 30 mils and it retails for... $13.99. On Chemist Warehouse, there are 16 shades available and it has a pretty wide shade range, which is great. But in the US, there are a few more shades. Now this one is described to be a hydrating and weightless buildable foundation that conceals and smooths the skin, leaving you with a natural looking radiant finish. Sounds amazing, right? So I did end up picking up two shades because there was a few to choose from in the fair category. So this one here is Shell, and this one is Porcelain. I think I might actually go in with Porcelain. I'm not going to put any primers on my face because I just wanna see how the foundation performs without them. I'll just go in with my sponge because that is what I have been preferring lately. Okay, that's blending out quite nicely. The shade's nice and fair, definitely a I'd say light coverage at the moment. You can still see quite a bit of redness here. Okay, I've already used up my two pumps. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna need quite a bit more. All right, well this is one layer of the foundation. I think that it looks good. It's doing everything that it claims to do. Definitely a lighter coverage, but I'm liking the glow and it's sitting nicely on my skin. It's not clinging to any of my like breakouts around my chin or anything. I am going to go in with a second layer and see how it builds. It does claim to be buildable. This is a second layer. It's definitely built up a little bit. I prefer the two layers over the one. I think it looks really good. How exciting, and look how it's sitting on my breakouts here. Flawless. Now I don't have the Flower Beauty Concealer. I did have it a while ago and I thought, oh, it's way too dark for me, so I got rid of it. But now I prefer a concealer that's a little bit darker, so I feel like I should pick it up again. So I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and I'll be right back. I also just put on some bronzer. I use the Soul Body Bronzing Balm. This is in the shade Light. Now for the part I am most excited about, new shades in the blush bombs. So originally we only had these two here. This is Pinched and this one is Bubbly. Now we have six shades to choose from and these retail for $9.99. I actually went with some really bright shades. The other two that they had were quite neutral, but I thought, let me spice it up. So I picked up Melon and Bitten. Now these are a like cream gel formula. They're very lightweight on the skin and leave a beautiful, like fresh, glowy finish. They're perfect if you're after like no makeup makeup. I found the two shades that I already have to be quite, like they're not super pigmented. I don't know what the word is for that. <laughs> but anyway, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so this is Melon and this is Bitten. These actually feel a bit more pigmented than the others. Like, look how bright they are. They're quite opaque. Ooh, I'm a bit scared of this shade. I usually use my fingers with these shades that I previously had, but I think I might go in with a brush. I'm going to go for the deeper shade. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, look. It's a lot, <laughs> but let's keep blending. I'm just going to use my sponge to soften those edges. Okay, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? 
Wow, okay, that is super, super bright. All right, I'll go in with Melon on the other side using a different brush. This one also looks pretty vibrant, oh my God. Okay, this side wasn't as scary. Still pretty um, vibrant. The other two shades are not this vibrant. What shade do you prefer? I feel like this one's a bit more peachy and this one's more of that like bright bubbly pink. Wow, that looks full on. And just quickly, if you're interested, these are swatches of the other two shades. So this is bubbly and this is pinched. Now for brows, I have the Skinny Micro Brow Pencil and the Fiber Fix Brow Gel. I love the packaging of these. It feels quite luxe. So let's get into the brow pencil. I picked this one up in the shade Blonde and it's got this very interesting little brush on the end. Looks like a mini toothbrush. Oh, okay, so the packaging is in a triangle, so I was expecting it to be one of those angled brow pencils, but it's just a nice little tiny micro brow. Perfect. And then the Fiber Fix Brow Gel I picked up in the shade Blonde also. This feels really nice. It has like soft matte packaging. Let's check out the brow. Perfect, look at that wand, nice and tiny. And I can see the fibers on there, so I'm hoping this will really plump up my brows. Both the brow and the gel retail for $9.99. All right, so I'm going to go in with the brow gel first. I like to do this so that it tints any of the blonde brow hairs. It kind of fills in some of the sparse gaps first, like before I go in with the pencil. So already you can see the difference. That's made them look so much more full. It's not crazy pigmented either. I can't stand when you go in with a brow gel and it just like dumps this color on. Like, oh, and then you got no room to work with it. Ugh. So I usually like to use the spoolie end of a brow pencil to blend out the front here. So let's see how this little thing goes. What have I done over here? Oh my God, Tanika. Okay, now that I'm like brushing my brows, it's moving the gel. See this? What's that about? What is that about? Maybe I should have put the gel in after. Oh no. Or maybe it's the brush. Would a spoolie do the same? So, well, I'll definitely keep trying these products out throughout the week and I'll try the brow pen salt first and then I'll try the gel and see if I get that fallout because that was kind of annoying. Now, I don't have any eyeshadows to test out, but I do have some lipsticks. So these are the Perfect Pout Moisturizing Lipsticks. I've got two shades here. This one here is Blush Rose and this one is Blossom. For my eyes, I just went in with this Maybelline Color Tattoo and this is in the shade On End Bronze. I used to wear this all the time, like a really good, just easy everyday one shadow kind of look. I have lined my lips with the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in Nude Whisper. And now I'll be going in with the Flower Beauty Perfect Pat Lipstick in Blush Rose. All right, it feels very creamy, very soft. It's applying beautifully. I'm just not sure how I feel about a lipstick with like this sheen kind of finish. I don't know. It is a nice shade though. I don't think this would be one of those lipsticks that's super long lasting. Like I wouldn't want to eat when I'm wearing this lipstick. I feel like it would go everywhere but it is really comfortable. It feels really nice on. I'm just, I don't know, there's something about this I'm not vibing with. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but this is, this is the finished look. All right, so a quick overview of all the products. The foundation, I'm happy with the finish. I think that it looks very skin-like and natural. It is starting to look a little bit funny on my chin, but I did powder there. It's kind of like it's separating a bit but it looks nice everywhere else. The blush bombs, I'm actually, oh, I don't know. Jessica Braun mentioned in, or like she said it a few times in her videos that she thinks that they changed the formula. And I feel like these just aren't as glowy 
as the original ones that I have. Like this side looks quite matte to me. Got a little bit of a glow over here, but I'm definitely gonna have to keep testing them out. The brow products, I really loved the pencil and I did like the gel, but as I said, I'm going to try it after using the pencil because it kind of just went everywhere. It's like it dried down and then when I brushed it out, it just went with it, I don't know. Wasn't, wasn't a fan of that. I might just quickly try on the other lipstick to see what the shade looks like as well. I don't know, really, really comfortable formula. If you like a lipstick with this finish, I think you really enjoy them. But for me, I just, I don't think I'll dip into these too often. Maybe if they were like more lighter shades, like if I picked up something more nude, I think I'd prefer them. But in the deeper shades, mm. not really that fast. All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up. And as I said, if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I will have them linked down below for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these products. And like I said, any of your favorite flower beauty products. So leave me a comment down below. Besides that, I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.